Hello, welcome to the video on how investment income from pass-through entities is calculated in a 1040 return. Investment income from pass-through entities calculates from interest, dividends, royalties, capital gains, and other portfolio income entered on the pass-through input. To show the adjustment on the statements, we'll enter interest and dividends and then enter the investment income field. For this we are using a partnership pass-through, however the process is the same for other pass-throughs. To begin, select the partnership pass-through worksheet. And then select section 4, interest and dividends. Enter amounts as needed. And then calculate the return. To see the output, go to Fed Government. And open form 4952. Here we can see the total of interest and dividend income that I entered is on line 4A. As well as, in the statements. Let's go back to the partnership pass-through worksheet. And select section 2, Activity. If an entry is in the investment income line, it will adjust the dividend and interest income that I entered earlier. Back on form 4952. Notice the amount entered as investment income now shows on line 4A. And looking at the statement, we now see a negative adjustment due to the investment income amount entered being less than the total interest and dividends. If you want the net investment income to make a positive adjustment, in the investment income line, enter the total desired net investment amount. As an example, I've entered 32500 which is my interest and dividends plus a positive adjustment amount. Back on the 4952 statement, the net investment income has been positively adjusted to match that amount. Thank you for watching the video to learn how investment income from pass-through entities is calculated in a 1040 return.